the next time you try to smuggle China White through our territory, you're going to get that bomb up your ass. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button, and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. It's only fitting that on the day the Oscar nominations were announced, that I'd be reviewing Savage Beach, a movie that was notoriously snubbed at the 1990 Academy Awards. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried. Savage Beach is a Andy Sedaris movie. If you don't know who Andy Sedaris is, that's okay, because I didn't know until a couple of weeks ago either. Oh, what a loser! For those that don't know, Andy Sedaris made B-movie exploitation action movies in the late 80s and early 90s that starred Playboy Playmates. Picture it this way. Your favorite 80s action movie had a threesome with Baywatch and a Skinamax movie, and one of them gave birth to a child that had extremely high testosterone levels. That's pretty much Andy Sedaris movies. Or at least Savage Beach, because that's the only one I've seen so far, but I can imagine a lot of them have the same flavor. It's a fist to go look at the fun bags on that hose hound. So essentially the plot of Savage Beach is that two busty female government agents are transporting a vaccine for sick children. Because, you know, when the kids are sick, you have to send in the blondes. But on their way there, their plane crashes on this remote island that is very close to a sunken World War II Japanese ship that contains a fortune in gold. So they basically get caught in the middle of this conflict to obtain the Goal. I have a serious question though, and I want this answered down in the comments below. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. Do female government agents always get in a hot tub naked together after a major drug bust? I have to know these things. There's a scene in this movie that I swear went for maybe two or three minutes, and it was basically a male and female character going back and forth, making as many dick innuendos about a gun as they possibly could. It was like a competition on screen to see who could come up with the most ridiculous one. And this is actual dialogue written for these characters. That's something special, folks. Alrighty then. In fact, all the sexual innuendos in this movie are just out of this universe. When someone says in a line of dialogue, don't forget my all-purpose package, what do you think he's referring to? His dick? Or a care package full of guns? That's the beauty of Savage Beach. It could be either of those things, and it still works. People get naked in this movie in the most inopportune times. Forget the fact that we're flying over the ocean in the middle of a hurricane in a very small plane. Their clothes are wet, so let's change, because, you know... Tits. Whew. Can I just say I really appreciate when they work the title of a movie into the dialogue? It's not always easy to do, and it's even harder when the name of your movie is Savage Beach. Cool little thing here, this movie features Al Leong in a speaking role, and if you don't know who he is, he was basically the go-to Asian henchman in all 80s action movies. He was in Lethal Weapon, Die Hard, Big Trouble in Little China, They Live, The Last Action Hero. As a kid, I got so used to seeing him die on screen, it was kind of refreshing to see him do something a little bit more with a role. So props for that, for giving him that opportunity. Excellent! The reality is, is that Savage Beats exists because one man had a vision. A vision of taking over the top action movies and filling them with Playboy Playmates. I mean, in his mind, he's got to be thinking, who's not going to watch that? Maybe the soy crowd now wouldn't, but their tastes suck anyway. Savage Beach is basically designed to raise those T levels. There should be a warning attached to this movie, saying afterwards you may feel the need to drink some whiskey, do a line of coke, eat a steak, and hammer up some drywall. You son of a bitch. Movies like this don't exist anymore, and that's probably because they're not allowed to. And because Andy Sedaris, of course, passed away. I can't even put one of my ratings on this movie because it literally fits nowhere. It's unapologetically cheesy, sleazy, and will make some feel uneasy. Bars. It's not trying to be anything more than what it is. So if you've seen Savage Beach, I hope you have. If not, shift into high gear and make that shit happen. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Got on.